Why are there not more people talking about the complexity of sexual orientation? Sexual orientation is a multifaceted and intricate aspect of human identity that has intrigued scientists, psychologists and sociologists for decades. It encompasses a range of attractions, behaviours and identities and is influenced by a complex interplay of genetic, hormonal, environmental and social factors. While research has made significant strides in understanding the biological underpinnings of sexual orientation, it remains a topic with many unanswered questions and ongoing debates. Studies have shown that there is no single gay gene that determines sexual orientation. Instead, it appears to be the result of multiple genetic factors interacting with each other and with various environmental influences. For instance, some research suggests that certain genetic markers may be associated with same-sex attraction, but these markers are not definitive or predictive on their own. Additionally, prenatal hormone exposure is believed to play a role in shaping sexual orientation, with variations in hormone levels potentially influencing the development of sexual preferences. Environmental factors such as upbringing, culture and personal experiences also contribute to the complexity of sexual orientation. Social and cultural norms can impact how individuals perceive and express their sexuality and personal experiences such as relationships and social interactions can further shape one's sexual identity over time. It is important to recognize that sexual orientation is not a choice, but rather an inherent aspect of who a person is. The diversity of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality and asexuality, reflects the broad spectrum of human experiences and identities. Each individual's journey in understanding and embracing their sexual orientation is unique and deeply personal. As society continues to evolve and become more accepting of diverse sexual orientations, it is crucial to support and respect each person's right to love and be loved, free from discrimination and prejudice. In conclusion, the complexity of sexual orientation highlights the need for continued research and open-mindedness. By embracing the diversity of human sexuality, we can foster a more inclusive and understanding world where everyone is valued for who they are. Historically, such arguments have been used to justify discrimination. Framing homosexuality as a result of specific factors risks fueling prejudice and attempts to cure or change individuals. Throughout history, scientific arguments have often been misused to support various forms of discrimination and prejudice. These misapplications of science have had profound and lasting impacts on society, shaping public opinion and policy in ways that have marginalised and harmed countless individuals. One of the most egregious examples of this is the way in which scientific theories have been employed to justify discrimination against LGBTQ plus individuals. In the past, certain scientific theories suggested that homosexuality was a result of specific biological or psychological factors. These theories were often used to argue that being gay or lesbian was a disorder or an abnormality that needed to be corrected. This framing not only pathologized LGBTQ plus identities, but also provided a pseudo-scientific justification for attempts to cure or change individuals through harmful practices such as conversion therapy. Archival footage of protest marches and historical images of discrimination remind us of the real-world consequences of these scientific misuses. People holding discriminatory signs and slogans reflect the societal endorsement of these harmful beliefs. These images serve as a stark reminder of the pain and suffering inflicted upon LGBTQ plus individuals as a result of these misguided scientific arguments. Moreover, the misuse of scientific arguments extends beyond the LGBTQ plus community. Throughout history, similar tactics have been used to justify racism, sexism and other forms of discrimination. For example, pseudoscientific theories of racial superiority were used to justify slavery, segregation and other forms of racial oppression. Similarly, flawed scientific arguments about gender differences have been used to justify the subjugation of women and the denial of their rights it is crucial to recognize and challenge these misuses of science.
A diverse group of people in discussion symbolizes the importance of inclusive and critical dialogue in addressing these issues. By critically examining the ways in which scientific arguments have been misused in the past, we can work towards a more just and equitable society. We must ensure that science is used to promote understanding and equality, rather than to perpetuate prejudice and discrimination. In conclusion, the historical misuse of scientific arguments to justify discrimination serves as a powerful reminder of the need for vigilance and critical thinking. We must remain aware of the ways in which science can be misapplied and work to ensure that it is used to advance human rights and social justice for all. Focus should be on acceptance and understanding. Instead of seeking causes, we should promote respect, inclusivity and equal rights for LGBTQ plus individuals. The history of scientific research on sexual orientation. This includes discussing how early theories have been debunked and the ethical considerations of such research. The social and cultural factors influencing perceptions of LGBTQ plus individuals are deeply rooted in history and continue to evolve. This can involve exploring historical stigma, evolving societal attitudes and the fight for LGBTQ plus rights. Historically, LGBTQ plus individuals have faced significant stigma and discrimination. In many societies, being LGBTQ plus was considered taboo and individuals often had to hide their true identities to avoid persecution. This historical stigma was perpetuated by various institutions, including religious organizations, governments, and even medical communities, which often labeled LGBTQ plus identities as deviant or pathological. However, over the decades, societal attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals have gradually shifted. The LGBTQ plus rights movement which gained momentum in the mid-20th century, played a crucial role in challenging these negative perceptions. Activists organized protests, marches and campaigns to demand equal rights and recognition. These efforts were not without resistance, but they laid the groundwork for significant legal and social changes. One of the most notable milestones in the fight for LGBTQ plus rights was the Stonewall Riots of 1969. This series of spontaneous demonstrations by members of the LGBTQ plus community in response to a police raid at the Stonewall Inn in New York City is often cited as the catalyst for the modern LGBTQ plus rights movement. The bravery and resilience of those who participated in the riots inspired countless others to join the fight for equality. In the years that followed, the LGBTQ plus community continued to make strides in gaining visibility and acceptance. The decriminalization of homosexuality in many countries, the legalization of same-sex marriage, and the increasing representation of LGBTQ plus individuals in media and politics are just a few examples of the progress that has been made. Despite these advancements, challenges remain. LGBTQ plus individuals still face discrimination, violence, and legal barriers in many parts of the world. The fight for equality is ongoing, and it requires continued advocacy and support from allies and the broader community. Understanding the social and cultural factors that influence perceptions of LGBTQ plus individuals is essential for fostering a more inclusive and equitable society. By acknowledging the historical context and recognizing the progress that has been made, we can work towards a future where everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity, is treated with dignity and respect. The importance of diversity and inclusivity. This can focus on celebrating differences, promoting understanding and advocating for equal rights and opportunities. Please let me know if you'd like to explore any of these alternative topics. My goal is to provide accurate, ethical and helpful information.